patiently watches the door in the window. He angrily tosses darts and then goes to the telephone. Hello, Paulette. It's Richard. Have you seen him? No. No, no, no. That's, that, that's right. Deacon Moore's wait. That's okay. I mean, she should be here soon. Puts the phone down for a minute, then he dials another number. Hi, Pauline. It's me, Dick. Has Christine been there? No? Oh, no, no, no. Nothing's wrong. No, no, that's okay. Thanks. He dials another number. Paul, it's Richard. Is she there? Oh, you haven't seen her all night, huh? Okay, never mind. He slams the phone down. Damn! He puts the phone down and sits on the sofa. Headshot of an actor. Jumps off the cushions. He picks it up, looks at it, and frowns, dropping it on the floor. He turns to look at dartboard. He walks the dartboard and pins headshot to it, throwing three dots into its center. Door opens. Christine enters, slowly, hesitating. She looks at Richard, then toward the headshot on the dartboard. Christine, where you been? I've been calling all the town for you. Well, what's wrong? It's a long story. Oh, I got plenty of time. Oh, you won't like it? I won't like what? Dickie Boo. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. What wasn't your fault? The accident. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Where? At Broadway Theater. Oh, I'm sorry. Where? Where? I can't hear you. She pours in the stuff a shot. At the Broadway Theater? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't understand that. She got to stand another shot. Oh. <laughs> I said <laughs> at the Broadway Theater. <laughs> oh, Broadway. And 53rd. Oh, so you went to see that actor, didn't you? <sighs> Did, really? It wasn't my fault. I wrecked my bands going to see an ex love at his Broadway debut. And it wasn't your fault. <coughs> <laughs> she takes another shot and walks across the room, still avoiding his eyes. Paula asked me to take her there. I just talked to Paul. I said Pauline. I talked to Pauline <laughs> too. <laughs> uh, I meant Paulette. <laughs> See, now you're lying, because I called Paulette. She and Joe are back to church for Deacon Moore's wake. Joe preaching tomorrow at the funeral, so don't lie on Paulette. Why in the hell are you looking for me, idiot? <laughs> you usually don't give a damn where I am. The baby should have said you had car trouble. <laughs> oh, worried about the Mercedes, Don't, right? even, don't even try to change the subject, right? And stop staring out the damn window. You went to see Greg, didn't you? Greg, 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 Greg. That's all you think about. No, he's all you think about. And where'd you get the picture, huh? From Lover Boy? Hush. You're with the babies. Why do you care about them? <laughs> <laughs> Running behind your old boyfriend. I just wanted to say hi. We were very close in college. Look, I know he was your boyfriend, but to go behind my back? After 10 years of marriage, you know, I thought we were beyond that. Now, you could have said something. I'm not threatened by that, brother. It's not the type of thing you tell your husband. No. It's the type of thing you tell your friend. Your friend, Christine. I mean, we are friends, right? Christine is slowly walking toward Richard, stopping a chance to get the poster back from her. Richard is backing up, keeping a safe distance. You can't be that kind of friend to me. Oh, but the actor can. That was another time, another place. And I wish she would go back to where, wherever the hell that was. <laughs> and I should just pretend that we didn't even happen. No, I, I didn't say that. I just don't like you sneaking behind my back. Oh, so. We wouldn't be having this conversation if I had told you I was going. Oh, no, 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 look, stick to the point. Stick to the point. <laughs> We're having this conversation because you got caught. You crashed and burned before you completed your mission. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not as clever as you are at having rendezvous. Oh, see, see, some warrior you were made. See, now you need a captain to guide you. See, I'm the captain of this shit. And I told you I could get you tickets for the play. I know you wanted to see his debut in New York City. You said you didn't want to go. No. I said I couldn't go because I had to give a report at the town council meeting. Oh, 
Costa Rex. Now look what you did. So what? You wrecked the Mercedes. You totally didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tearing up the remainder of the poster and throwing it on Christine. Well, maybe your rich actor can buy you another car. <laughs> I said it wasn't my fault. You shouldn't have been there. <laughs> I don't know how spaced out you get. Now, you probably wasn't looking where you're going because she was all excited to see your ex lover. Uh -huh. I only wanted to say hi to my old college boyfriend. I don't believe that. It's the truth. Look at you. You never get this dressed up on a weeknight. <laughs> and look at this <laughs> black gold belt, black silk stockings. Ooh, damn it. Mm. Don't you ever pull up the trash. I'll pull it up if I want to. I paid for the damn dress and the guards. I paid for the nookie too. So why you trying to do it to another man? See, 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 that's your problem. That's your problem right there. No, your lust for the pretentious actor. That's the problem. No. The problem is, is that you think you own me. There's not a court in the land that would convict me for taking such good care of you as I do. I never do that. You even have sex with me when I'm when I'm asleep. Um, don't you mean when you're drunk and passed out? <laughs> <laughs> and smells up rat. And it looks like you're well on your way to that right now. I don't care. It's still without my consent. You gave your consent. You just don't remember. <laughs> And anyway, that's part of your wifely duty, so face it, you got caught, not me. You make me sick. You think I exist merely, merely for your purposes only. That's a lie. You do whatever the hell you want to do. <laughs> only if it's okay with you. Like you going to meet Greg all dressed up like this. I always get dressed up like this when I go to the town council meetings to give my report. <laughs> in silk stockings and gardens. See, you think I'm done. Are you? I must be. See, because I'm out there working hard every day so you can be here with these babies and do whatever you need to do. And whatever you need me to do. See, I need you to trust you that you'll do the right thing. I can't be watching you every move. I didn't do anything! Only because you wrecked the freaking Mercedes before you could do anything. <laughs> on the corner. Oh, don't worry. I waited for Triple A. I watched him tow it all the way back to New Jersey. <laughs> Here's all the information, all the papers, everything. So, uh, did you see him? The drunk driver? <laughs> no, Greg. Yes. And? Uh, did you do them? <laughs> oh, I wish I could have just one friend, one man friend, without you accusing me. Did you? No. We talked for a while <laughs> in his dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> He put me in a car, a cab, and I came home. <laughs> oh, so he had another woman waiting on him. <laughs> <laughs> Young, blonde, blue-eyed, very tall. to deal with your trouble all by yourself. Yeah, that's some friend. Oh, he didn't even know I was coming. And it was all innocent. Richard, I swear. I should call his wife right now. No, Richard. <laughs> I bet she won't think your little rendezvous with her husband is so innocent. Just let it go, please. Isn't it enough he rejected me? Yeah, he rejected you right out of my pockets. I'm going to have to pay for the damn call. I <laughs> I've learned my lesson. And I'm still going to have to pay. Sure it takes is going to shoot up? I paid with my pride. He rejected me. 
just as he should. <laughs> I mean, you waltzing out there like some groupie, all dressed up, smelling like a whore. He can see the setup a mile away. Oh, <laughs> we go back too far for that. I'm definitely not a groupie. And why? Why must I be a whore? He's an old friend. You were slithering around outside his dressing room, <laughs> slinking around, looking for some action. A Broadway hoe. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay when I'm acting like your hoe. Oh, mighty expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> All you care about is the money. I was in a car accident and you haven't once said, honey, are you okay? I can see you're okay. <laughs> Christine, it still doesn't make it okay. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. You just don't understand. Oh, I understand. I definitely understand. I understand that you lied to me. You told him I'm a Satan. The super actor rejected you. You come slinging back with your tail between your legs, and now I've got to buy a new car. I think I pretty much got a clear picture. Would you like a drink? Don't pass out on me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and what you gonna do? Use my drinking as an excuse to sleep with my best friend again? She, oh, she wasn't your best friend. And you made damn sure of that, didn't you? So this is revenge. Oh, what goes around comes around. And I have to lose my Mercedes because <laughs> I made a mistake years ago while my wife was in a drunken stupor. It wasn't my fault. Yeah, I got one more damn time, you, I swear to God. You would. You know something, I should. Ha. What you gonna do, Dick? <laughs> <laughs> Take it when you want it. You should be glad that Dick still wants it. <laughs> See now, no, stop trying to change the subject. Uh, this ain't about me. Dick didn't wreck the car. <laughs> Not this dick anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>